In our tech report, Ghana, through its flagship initiative, the National Entrepreneurship and Innovation Program, is trying to build an ecosystem for young entrepreneurs across the country with the primary objective of providing integrated national support for startups and funding to enable them to grow and become successful. Africa 54's tech reporter Paul Ndiho sat down with Franklin Owusu Karikari, coordinator of the National Entrepreneurship and Innovation Program in Accra. The National Entrepreneurship and Innovation Program was set up by the government to become the enabler of the entrepreneurship ecosystem. And it's a flagship policy initiative of the government. The government realized that there was a huge uh, graduate unemployment and youth unemployment in the country. So what was the way out? The way out was to look at how we can quickly and drastically cut down the unemployment challenge that we have in the country. We work with government, we work with the private sector and the various key stakeholders to create the ease of doing business in the country for the young people, for the startups in the country. And within uh, two years, we delve into the grounds. We've been able to train about 19,000 uh, young people, startups, small businesses across Ghana, all the 16 regions. Uh, then how would you respond to uh, some, some young people that I've met uh, on my trip who said that the government is not doing enough? that the government hasn't uh, really built that environment where they can come together, see their dreams come through, uh, that the government has been slow listening to them. In every environment, you meet different kinds of people. Some uh, lack access to certain information, and I will accept that uh, not everybody might have been able to access the things that we are doing. I'm just talking about 19,000, and you can talk about over millions of young people. So that is expected. Now the narrative has begun to change. The cultural mindset is changing, where we have an attitude of entitlement that we, government should provide employment for all of us. It's changing. The dynamics is changing. Young people are beginning to realize that they can do something for themselves. Now we are sending entrepreneurship training down to the high schools. We've set up uh, schools entrepreneurship initiatives right from the high schools. This year, we are rolling up close to 150 schools, high schools in Ghana, and we are forming entrepreneurship and innovation clubs on various uh, high school campuses, begin to change the paradigm, we shift the paradigm, change the mindset, drum home that we can change the narrative for Ghana. Let's uh, go back uh, to capital. You said uh, you created programs that support some of these people. Is it a merit-based system where you go through a process or a vetting system? Or if you know somebody who knows somebody, they, you can easily get funding? Well, you know, somebody say, this is Africa. Mm -hmm. But uh, there are times we need to begin to um, have some level of confidence in government machineries. Uh, what our program does is that when we do the call, uh, the applications come in and everyone who applies and meets the criteria goes through automatically. So you talked about uh, starting a business and it's failing. What does failure mean in that uh, sense? It wasn't easy uh, because I virtually lost every capital. We were living on my wife's uh, small salary that she was receiving. Life was tough after the business going down the drain because I learned that uh, you know, when one door closes, another door opens, and it toughens you up to look out for the next opportunity. And what I want to tell young people is that when your business fails, that's a good opportunity for you to uh, back backtrack and assess yourself where you went wrong and bounce back again. How are you able to bounce back and stay afloat? You know, most people think that uh, uh, our entire challenge is funding. Uh, my next business that I started right away was a business that I didn't need money to start. All that I needed was my idea. So I tell young people, if you have ideas, start with the one that required the least of capital or no capital. And raise money from there to build the businesses that are more capital intensive. In your view, what's a startup? A startup is that one person who has the idea and he's running the business and he's working in the business. When you grow and you become a full-blown businessman and entrepreneur, 
you don't work in your business, you work on your business. When you are working in your business, it's just like working for any other company. And most startups, uh, you are working virtually because when you are not there, the business is not there. That is a startup. But when you are able to build systems that operate without you, you are no longer a startup. You are a full-blown business. That was Africa 54 technology reporter Paul Ndiho speaking with Franklin Owusu Karikari, coordinator of the National Entrepreneurship and Innovation Program in Accra, Ghana. And that's our show for today. Be sure to watch Africa 54 on our website at voaafrica.com. From all of us here in Washington, thanks for watching.